Queen Eva, it's Queen Eva, it's Queen Eva. You know that she's a queen and not a prima donna. Prima donna does her own things, so don't ever think that she needs you. Fragrance and fashion got it, so one day you just might need her. Just might say what she means, you know she means just what she say. Just what she say. with the queen, you gotta slay like the spray. Authentic, always and only. Okay, so we're starting off with Fab Fringe. And this is what she looks like out the pack, pretty much. Um, I washed her and I trimmed her sides down a little bit because I found her to be thick in the sides. And I just wanted to show you guys how you can style her in like five minutes with just mousse. And I'm going to be spraying some leave-in conditioner in her. Sometimes I will like bump curl her a little bit. Sometimes I'll make spikes in her. But today we're just gonna go with the mousse and leave-in conditioner. Straight out the pack, her front is also pretty long. Um, I did cut her front down as well. But I almost wished I had not to cut it down so much because if you leave it a little longer, you can really do a nice little like over the eye swoop thing with her. This is what I love about wigs. I, I really adore short hair. I used to wear my hair short years ago and I just, I love everything about this look. I feel like it's sultry, it's sexy. I'm not using any adhesive on her because there's no need to. She's pretty snug actually. Actually, she's very snug. Now I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer and just dry her just slightly. I like to make some little feathers in the back, sometimes some little spikies in the back. And there you go. She kind of looks like a fresh relaxer, right? Looks like a fresh, relaxed pixie cut. Go on, girl. Cute. All right, now next, this is the number that I showed you guys yesterday with bangs. Uh, it's a no, right? <laughs> I'm gonna link her in the description box. Um, this is probably the easiest one to style. I'm just gonna go over her really quick with my flat iron. Pull the bangs back first go over her with the flat iron to make her nice and sleek you could go curl under slightly to give it you know a slight like bump under the ends or you could just do a blunt cut on the ends of it which would also be very cute as well Now we'll work on those bangs. And don't burn your forehead because that's what I usually do. Some days I wonder who lets me even have a flat iron. <laughs>
pull her back a tiny bit. I'm telling you, lashes, lip gloss, maybe a little rosy blush on the cheeks and out the door. Now let's do a little ear tuck here. Oh, we're going to spray it down first because her flyaways were out of control. And then I just like to take my flat iron and go over it with the back side of the flat iron. Cute work, dinner, Saturday afternoon. And you can always do the little sexy behind the ear tuck. Oh, yes. Nice pair of earrings. All right. Now, this is my least favorite right now. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm working with her. I really am. She is. This is the reason why I prefer to have at least a frontal, a full lace frontal, because the whole pre-parted thing and the thick front just really bothers me. I like to be able to customize the front of the wig. Her curl pattern is nice. Um, later on, after I did this video, I did go in and recurl the right side because I felt like the curls were falling out. But I think she's cute for work. She's cute if you're just looking for something really quick to throw on and go. But her hairline could have been better. But I think she was only like, I want to say about $70. And she is human hair. So I'm even going to try to go into her part with a little bit of concealer just to try to make it look a little more authentic. And I got a little crazy with it. So when you get crazy with a concealer, just go over it with mascara if it's got dark roots. Or just clean it up with mascara, rather. That's kind of like a mommy wig, right? <laughs> you look like somebody's mother today. Had to put a little lip gloss on the lips. And there we go. All right, now this is one of my favorites. This is hair goals for me. Like I just want my natural hair to grow out just this much. I feel like I will have so much fun with it if it does. So you see right off the bat, I just go in with the scissors. It's a habit and I can't help it. But I decided I wanted her to be a little more tapered. Curly hair sometimes starts out one length and then it ends up another because the curls really start to loosen up on it. So I'm just going in for the kill here. It's only hair, right? Now, I decided to do a bang because I wanted to show you guys how she actually looks with just a little bit of a bang. But, oh, no, nope, we're still cutting. When I'm cutting my human hair wigs, I will use my um, hair cutting shears. I wouldn't recommend cutting your human hair wigs with like a pair of sewing scissors because it does mess up the ends of the hair. Now I'm just gonna moose her into oblivion. This mousse that I'm using, I just picked it up from Wal Walgreens, actually. It was the first thing I saw. I grabbed it. It's really thick and 
it swells up a lot. So you only need a little bit, like a, a dab of it at a time. Now I'm gonna take my diffuser and just dry her a tad bit. Um, another reason why I did a bang was because I didn't wanna go in with any adhesive yet. on this unit. Now I'm gonna go in with my pick and just lift, lift, lift. And I'll even come back later and lift some more when it's really like 100% dry. We're still cutting. Now I put on some African earrings and there you have it. One day I was wearing those earrings in Saks Fifth Avenue and a lady that works there asked me if that was Florida. I died. <laughs> I said, no, this is definitely not Florida. <laughs> All right, now another one of my favorites. This is that beachy blondie unit that I showed you guys yesterday. And, um... I'm gonna actually show you how I'm gonna lay her down with just a tiny bit of got to be. And I'm gonna use free spray as well. So I'm gonna put it in that little area right there where I told you guys I'll put it sometimes. Just right where I know my wig is gonna lift like if the wind blows my hair back. When you're applying wigs, I have two things that I could not do this job without. The first thing is my metal rat tail comb and my blow dry clips. Some people call them butterfly clips or is it? Yeah, I think butterfly clips. Those are very necessary. So now I'm gonna take my freeze spray because I wanna make this lace as unclockable as I can, as they say. <laughs> but I don't get caught up in that because I say all the time, it looks like a wig, cause it is a wig, but it doesn't have to look like a bad wig. So I just apply a little bit of the got to be freeze spray just right there to the front hairline of the wig and then I will blow dry it. Now, if I have a little tiny part that's lifting right at the front of it, instead of respraying it because the spray is gonna run down your forehead and you don't want that, just spray the back of the rat tail comb and then apply the free spray to the lace. I feel like the color of this wig is everything. I just, I really like the color of this wig. And now I'm gonna give her some volume with my freeze spray. I guess I was saying yes. <laughs> and 
and we're gonna go into the part with a little bit of concealer again it's honestly it's best if you do this on the underside of the wig it really is but I've just played in five wigs so it didn't all go according to plan and then blend it in the best you can you can also do around the perimeter with some foundation. Those were just a few examples of how I apply my wigs and how wigs can just change up a look in like five minutes or less. But the only thing, one thing that I forgot to mention is that it's really hard to just buy a wig, take it out the pack and throw it on your head. It takes a little time and patience and customization. You have to customize the wig to suit your needs, like your facial structure and all that. And sometimes all you have to do is just take one of these little numbers and just, you know, shape it, frame it to your face, you know, make the hairline like you want it. And oh, yeah. So there you have it. <laughs>